Oh, I'm so excited. Hi. Can you hear this? I can hear it from the house. You should keep your know. Okay, I wasn't sure. By the way, I think the trigger for her... Sorry, I think the trigger for uh, Dingus, uh, a Dung Eater on the other side of the spawn is actually her. Like, setting her up and everything. Well, I, took the I have, to like... Oh, really? I can't tell you about what I found? Oh, well. Kind of lame. Enya. I really want to talk to Enya, though. Or even Gideon. Maybe Gideon. Hi! <sighs> really nothing? God, it's so boring. I love when I have an idea and the game's just like... <laughs> no. That'd be too interesting. Right! Hi, Gideon! You know what we do to Gideons. This is how we greet Gideons. What's up, gamer? Let's go. I know more than you. <sighs> Useless. Okay, uh, well, that was distinctly less interesting that it, uh, it, I, I felt it would be. Kind of a bummer. But let's go talk to my best friends, the Dark Brotherhood. Of whom I am one. I don't think you care. If you follow this, it cannot Thought so. Uh, Bernal will like me, though, because we fought together. Hey, Bernal. Hi. Lady Tanith, was I not born by... Okay, sorry, I thought that you might have some extra dialogue, but you're still dealing with your family issues, which is very understandable. Hi! Ah, I had hoped Are we friends now? Return. I have the reward from Lady Tanith. Oh. Take it. It's yours. Oh. I write. Galmir's Fury. Let us tread the path of the recusant together till we reach the miserable death that awaits us. Okay. Galmir's Fury, one of the sorceries developed from the magma of Mount Galmir. This sorcery is held to represent the fury of the volcano, but the arrogance of attempting to harness it is solely that of men and serpents. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Until we meet again. I think we're friends now. Well, I'm glad we found that. That was really freaking cool. Um, let's explore from here now, just to sort of, yeah. Um, can we... Okay, I've never been back to see the painting, so I was like, maybe I should double check that something doesn't happen at the painting itself. I like this idea of the painter's, like, last instincts or, or last thoughts remaining. Hey, with Dung Eater? Dung Eater asked me to free him, uh, and I haven't found him yet, so I'm trying to find a well that will take me to the basement. To the big city basement. Wait, haven't I been to this door? I think I went to this door and didn't open from this side. They really hit me with the does not open from this side. I didn't even get a prompt and now it's open on its own. That's interesting. Let's go to the basement. All right, I need to find a well. I don't know what a well looks like. Cause you know, this place is all fancy, you know? I'm a, I'm a not fancy person. So I don't know what a fancy, no! well would look like. Oh my god. Jesus. Chill yourself. Wait. See, this looks like a well to me. This looks like a, but like a fancy well. Like an aqueduct. What top is that you're wearing? Prisoner set. Like, this looks like the sewer. Oh no, what have I done? That's so rude. <laughs> oh, I think the extra... I, I don't know if that was too high, but I think because I landed on him, it kept me in the air extra, and it counted as it being an extra high fall. Shout out to the game and its calculations of fall damage, by the way. Just shout out. You need to chill yourself before you... kill yourself? Didn't work. <gasps> Gold... Did you stab me right? testicles that's rude as hell 
I don't think I've had that shield before. Golden Great Shield. Oval Great Shield made of gold, carried by knights who protect the royal capital of Laindell. Knights of Laindell are reputed for their sturdiness, exemplified by the shield's exceptional guard capacity. Okay, that looks a little high. Maybe I just died. Chat, maybe I just straight up died. Did I die? No! That's rude! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I don't like it. <laughs> They're skittering! I don't like it when things skitter. It's like this fantastic word. No, 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 don't grab me, daddy. Ah! Master hand. Have mercy. You can make that fall? Yeah, I have no fear in my heart. When even I probably should. Yeah, it looked pretty makeable. Okay, so this is like a sewer, but is it the sewer? I would assume it's a sewer, right? But I don't know if this is the well. Because when I think of a well, I think of a well. This doesn't look like a well, actually. Like, this doesn't seem high enough or deep enough to be like a, like a sewer sewer. It just seems like... You know? Like, this is... What exactly? Oh my god, freaking turtles. In this game, these are turtles, and turtles are dogs. Ow! I used up my stamina. Whoopsies. So, wh where is this? This is, uh, here. And I don't really know that I've been here, actually? What is this? I have, but I don't know that I was thorough enough. Content there is? Yeah, this, I, I keep... Uh, the only problem is that I know that there's a lot more. You know what I mean? Like, unfortunately, to exist on Twitter, uh, or to exist in the Elden Ring community, you will hear people say things like, with no spoilers, no spoilers, they'll say, Wow, every time I think I'm done, the game keeps getting bigger. And as a result, I have figured that the game is much bigger than you think it's going to be. <laughs> so even though I'm in Lane Dell, and if I hadn't known that, I might have thought, wow, I think I'm near the end. Crazy. So I'm going to be surprised, but less surprised than I would have been. You know what I mean? And look at the size of the map. Yeah, although I've still been surprised. Like when, when I got a map marker here, I was like, are you f***ing kidding me? Never let your guard down around zombies. Uh, where am I? What is this? I don't remember. Ah! Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Maybe one day I will have an understanding of this freaking game. And this freaking zone. Because this is... This makes Stormvale look like a baby, baby, baby. Just a baby. Like an infant. Newborn. Fresh out the oven. Even the doors are sealed with sap. Or the windows. Very interesting. I wonder... Okay, so I don't know that this is the case. But sap, though powerful, is also kind of like the blood of a tree. And if a tree loses its sap, it will die. Um... Uh, and then sap becomes amber. So I find it really interesting that they sealed their doors with it. Because it's almost like they're sealing their doors with blood. And immediately, I get images uh, of Passover. Like putting blood on your door so that you are left alone by a... I forget what it is in, in Passover. Just like basically like a death spirit effectively. Something like that. That's not the right term. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean? 
Death Angel. It was a Death Angel. Excellent. Wonderful. So yeah, like, I, I don't know that's what they're going for, but like, it sure is interesting. Gotta say. Like I said, I don't know if that's the intent here, but I mean, it, it, I can't help but think it interesting. We can't think of uh, sap as just being sap. It is... Uh, Amber is described as like... how do, I, I wrote it down somewhere because I thought it was such a fantastic line. I don't remember, but it said that Amber is like a, is like a glintstone of life or something. But yeah, sap is cool because it's also sticky and it's like a seal, so it, it's like a multi-purpose thing. I don't know. I'm just, I really think it's cool they use sap. There's got to be something significant there. This place is kind of destroyed. Not doing so good. But there's a door over here. Hi, you're alive, aren't you? Oh god. <laughs> I don't like these guys. They're scary. You just hear them coming for you. <gasps> the well! I found it! I found it! The well! The well! Woo! I've been looking everywhere! Woo! New music, who does? Bit of a golden glow down here, huh? <laughs> well done. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We check for illusories. You know, we gotta... But look at this golden glow. It's so interesting. Time to find out if Dung Eater's down here. So I was thinking about Dung Eater a little bit. Um, and I had a realization- chat, I do not remember if I talked about this on stream, so if I'm repeating myself, forgive me, I do not recall. I can't help but wonder if Dung Eater is linked with- with, uh, the three fingers, and I know that seems weird, but... There's one thing that is interesting. Shabriri, the origin of, um... Frenzy, or like, madness in general? it seems to be, is described as the most reviled man in history. And Dung Eater is similarly described as this vile creature that, that is... And he, not to mention, Dung Eater is not a name. So maybe Shabriri eventually became Dung Eater. I don't know. I'm not sure. And don't tell me anything. But it's just a thought I had. I could be off. The main reason I thought this was because of the description of Shabriri as being revi reviled and then Dung Eater being also reviled. But also, if Dung Eater is down in the well, or down in the sewers of Lane Dell, that's where the three fingers are. So it's kind of interesting. But so far, their instincts seem to be different and their paths seem to be different, so I can't be sure. This place is disgusting, by the way. All right, I don't know why I'm using a torch. I gotta say, I am a sorcerer. We don't use torches, okay? We use magic to solve all our problems. Uh, are you perhaps... What is this? Subterranean shunning ground? Well, I wasn't expecting like a whole area like this. Like, with a name and everything. Over here real quick, though. Right, nothing. Okay, okay, alright, alright, alright. Manitoba, the land is between. I made a joke about Manitoba and no one living there, and someone from Man Manitoba, I think, actually got a little upset with me. I was joking, for what it's worth. Uh, but, um, I found, like, one of the two people who lives in Manitoba to get mad at me. That's the joke I made, actually! 
I was like, I don't think anyone here is from Manitoba. Like, two people live there, and he's like, how dare you? <laughs> oh! Yup. Yup. Omen people. Wait. Omen people? Interesting. Interesting. We can't just call them omen people, man. Who are you with a hug? You're not Fia. You're not Fia. Wait, when did I pull out the moon veil? How- you, You've heard of panic rolling? Have you heard of panic pulling out weapons? Because, like, I do that all the freaking time. What the hell? Uh, thanks for the cute input. Love you, video game. Love you. Oh! Huh. How the fuck do I get back there? Meh. I remember. So, you know. I I really wonder where that one came from because it seems like a, it came from a time capsule directly from the 1950s. But for some reason, like I found it on the internet, so that's like real weird. Made a PvP player block me on PlayStation. What were you doing? Yeah, dude, Raidatana. Oh my god. I'm like, bruh. <gasps> a summoning pool. Does that mean there's a stake of Marka? Ah, uh, of course, there is a bonfire right here. Now, before you give me shit for calling it a bonfire, I want you to know that I'm fighting really hard to stop calling them way shrines because I've been calling them way shrines. Like I'm playing Elder Scrolls on freaking line again. And I will call them whatever the heck I want. But I don't want to call them something from a different series. It makes no sense. It's like pick your poison at this point, you know? Blasphemous Paladin build. Aha! Uh -huh. I don't know what that is yet, but I'm sure I'll find out. When I do more PvP. Hey, dingus! What up, loser? Oh, God! I'm sorry, it was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. I like the way they bounce when they get nebula <laughs> What if my poison is premarital teabagging? Sibling? How dare you shoot juice at me? I'm only allowed to shoot space juice at you! Sparkles, bitch! That's right, my sparkles are superior. Never forget it. Oh, did you fall? Did you get tripped on my sparkles? Aww. Crap, it's just a prank bro arena? Uh-huh. <gasps> Blood-soaked mask. Hot. Mask formed from tightly wound bandages soaked through with blood. Even the most ghastly cover is more inviting than the festering face beneath. Hi. Any protection is welcome for the festering arms beneath. Festering. Where's my head? I don't know where Bach is. Also, I had a realization about Bach, and I, I don't want you to talk about this yet. I'm sorry. I just, I need to give you my thoughts. I realized this while yesterday. I was like playing, and I'm like, oh no. So you know how I'm able to be reborn because I have the great rune of the reborn, so I am able to perfect rebirth? Remember how I gave Bach a larval tier because he wanted one? I would have given it to him anyway because it's like quest progression. Like you gotta, you gotta progress you know, stuff. Children born anew by Renala are all frail and short-lived, imperfect beings each and all. Eh, I was gonna do it anyway, but I just realized that what's probably gonna happen to my boy ain't gonna be good, you know what I'm saying? So, oof. My poor baby Bok boy. Also, he was so happy when I did it, so you know what that means. You know, you know what that means. That is, he's gonna have a horrible death. I want to check something, actually, real quick. What happens if I alter this? Oh, it might actually be cuter like this. Oh, 
Oh my god. Actually kind of cute. It was the shoulder pads, chat. They were driving me bonkers. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. You know what I mean? I think this might be better, but it covers up the sick boots. I am thinking of Aldrich. Aldrich. Yeah, definitely. Um, so sorry, was there something over here? This is just a dead end. I'm just about to get aggroed by everybody. Oh, hello. There is this. What is you? Uh... Rats. That kind of cute. Yeah, I love this hat. It's very much like Zuli's hat from Dark Souls 2. And of course, uh, Dark Souls 3, which is my favorite drip I wore it in two games. <gasps> Did that rat just come out of the box? Oh my god, Dark Souls 1 reference! I know I sound kind of sarcastic. No, no. It's Dark Souls 1, dude. It's just like um, the depths. It's the depths! We're in the depths right now! Why did I realize that sooner? Uh, I don't have any plants in the depths, though. A little bit rude. Yeah, this is the depths, alright. Oh my god, Jura! A hole in the floor! Utility spells add so much character. I have never had this many spell slots before. So I feel, and I haven't really been using too many spells. Unfortunately, a lot of the sorceries, while there are some really good ones, there's also some that seem really underpowered. Uh, but yeah, as a result, um, I have so much room for spells and I've been using so many of them. Just utility ones. This is really well done. I really like this. Dang it. Is lore hunting going? So good. Lane Dell has been a joy. Uh oh. I like how I fully dress as a witch now. Despite not really doing much sorcery anymore. Rainbow stone arrow. Huh. Okay. <gasps> Here we go. Is this what I saw? Oh no. These dinguses. I don't think this is the room that I saw. I think this is a different room with the same enemies. I wonder. Yep, I already knew you were coming. Did he bug? He like didn't even aggro. Cool. I'm down. Anything? It's just a cave. Where are we right now? Oh, wow. We're like underneath all the water and stuff. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is the door, right? No. What the? Huh. Uh, okay. I can see the path we have to take to get in there. Kinda. How did I get in here, though? Uh-oh. This room seems unnecessarily large for what's in it. In before I miss something in it. Be like that. I feel like the rest of the stream is just going to be Lanedell. And assorted areas. I'm gonna fall down here. Oh dang it! <laughs> dang it! Don't fall on that one. We do want to fall though. Stream is likely gonna be in here. Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of calling this Lane Dell. This isn't Lane Dell anymore. This is the sewers. This is the depths. This is the subterranean, whatever they called it. What this? 
I'm not lost. Don't worry about it. The secret of being lost in a game like this is just don't be lost, forehead. Just keep running around. If you keep running around, you're never lost. Oh, you are extra maggoty. Or like, I, I don't want to say horny. But you know what I mean. He's covered in horns, chat. He's covered in him. He's extra. Oh my god, I did not like you. Don't hug me, don't hug me. I did not give you permissions! Oh my god! This one's scary. That's not what I meant to do, I'm gonna be honest with you. I kind of forgot that I still have my spell equipped. I do not like you. Dude, I'm gonna die, and then I'm never gonna find this place again. You cannot die. The stakes are so high. Oh, terrifying individual. You gotta have a unique drop. You're special. No, you're just extra horny. It, horned. <laughs> Good save, Raph. No one would have ever misunderstood that one. Oh, <gasps> somber smithing stone eight. We're in like deep, like the difficulty jump here has been significant. I like it. Because I'm basically about what max level I would like to be. I might level up more still, like past what I would consider the meta that I would go for. I don't know that I'm going to PvP on this character. I just want the option to. Uh, far be it for me to interrupt. Bye, boys. See you not see roll? Yeah! Um, Dark Souls 3 DLC? Hello? Or I kept saying I don't see much Dark Souls 3 in this game yet. I do be seeing it. Aha! We oeuvre vu the door. Is this the bonfire? So I just jumped right down there. There was like multiple paths to go and I was just like, let me go to the one that is the deepest. And the one that I can't come back from. Like, we could have gone here or something. We will, but for now. Go rest. 150 to 60 will be most people end up after one playthrough. Yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I have heard that. However, because I do want a PvP, I'm trying to stay at 125 max. Um, I may be like, oh my god, I'm in hell. Give me more levels. There's a distinct chance I will do that. But I just want to try. Can you quit it? Brush your teeth. I meant to do that. Survives for duels. Well, yeah, that's what I said, meta. I don't like that move. It's too much like a ballerina and it makes me envious. I would like to be a ballerina. I would like to be the game's only ballerina. Five invasion meta is awful. I hope it's not the case. Well, here's the thing. 125 is really high for invasions. Like, really high. Like, I know what you're saying. It's just... I don't intend to really invade on this build anyway, but I'm just, like, trying to stick with a higher... with the lower level, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why. I think my level 70 is gonna be really fun. Honestly. Or it could be terrible. Kale, it'll be the game Fight Club? Probably not, it's too open. I've seen a lot of, like, Rhea Lucario. Hi, <laughs> thank you so much for, uh, beating me up. <laughs> Bye, losers. Okay, I do want to explore down here, though. Oh, you have extra souls, and now I want to kill you again. Why 
are you all down here? This is not, this is not, you're not invited. You are not. There was zero invitations made to the whole group. Okay, you know what? Maybe it's fine. We're good. Top 5 is worse than 150 because people are doing exact same levels of one-shot build damages with less HP. I don't know. I haven't even gone to the level yet, so that's fair. Like, I'm just kind of speaking about what I've heard. Um, and it also is a little bit wild that people are talking about, yeah, but you finish the game at a higher level. Yeah, but that's never ha that's never mattered in previous games. You know what I mean? That that's the only thing that I'm quibbling with because people are like, "Well, I finished my first play there 150, so obviously meta should be 150." And it's like, but that's never been a thing. Like you beat Dark Souls 3 at what like, I don't know. 70, 90, something like that? Naturally? Maybe, maybe I don't remember what level I was. Let's say like 80, I don't know. Feel free to give me your numbers. I just don't remember what level I was when I last played it. Um, so it's like, but yeah, meta in that game is like 120 or, or whatever, right? So isn't that like the same concept? Let's fall down here. What does this take me to? What level you finish the game at has never influenced the meta in previous games. So it shouldn't in this one. And also the people that I hear talking about 150 PVP tend to be like, oh, but like at 150... You can use everything. And it's like, yeah, but do you really want to be dealing with everybody who has everything? That sounds like... Ugh. Deliberty not level for 30 to 40 levels. That's a fair point. It's kind of the opposite problem, then. I don't have any skin in the game. I find duels to be incredibly boring. Um, because it's just like... It's boring. <laughs> that's it. That's what I got. So, 150 is not a build at that point. Yeah, because you don't have to. You don't have to sacrifice anything. So it just turns into like a bunch of dingweenies, sort of just you know, uh, battle of attritioning each other. So I found that item in there, uh, and there's obviously probably some paths that I have not found in this in this nightmare pit. But, uh, I'm comfy with that. Billcrafting dies in the 150s. Yeah, it's more fun at lower levels. Also, invas invasions are always a little bit different. Like, the, in the idea of invading somebody um, who never need to make a decision about what they run on their build and could run, like, everything is slightly terrifying to me. Don't worry about leveling at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. The great thing about dueling in this game, I will say, like, I personally don't like them, but I think that duels are some of the best things about this game because finally there's no invader 30% health loss. As a result, people are more evenly matched uh, in duels more than they've ever been, as long as the host is not using a rune. So if two people are the same level, um, and the host is not using a rune arc, you have some of the most even PvP duels that we've ever had, which is super cool. And I'm a big fan of that. Um, there's definitely a way to drop down here or something, for sure. I can hear the beetle. ADP back? I don't think they'll bring ADP back. I would like it, though. Actually, I'm okay without ADP in this game. It doesn't need it. At least one character at meta range makes sense. Yeah, that's kind of why. That's kind of it. Um, and the thing is, you can't take levels away, but you can always add them. So if everybody and their mother goes to 150, well, I can just level up 25 times. But I can't take levels away. So that's all. I'm not, like, worried about it, like, you know, because I'm going to be some big, you know, duelist or whatever. I just like to have the option. That's all. Wait. There was plants that I missed. Because I looked at the plants and I was like, no thank you. So we should go back and find the plants. Not forget the plant arenos. Plants, plants, plants. Oh my god. 
They're coming up on the ground! Aren't they pretty? I love how they're pink. When's the last time we've had a pink enemy in one of these games? If ever. Have we ever had a pink enemy in this game? Uh, Souls games? FromSoft games? Actually, Raph in Kingsfield. Uh... <gasps> the plants! Excellent. This might actually be the plants. No, different plants. <gasps> Basilisks! This is the depths, guaranteed. Confirm, confirm, confirm the depths. Oh, damn. Stone. A small stone with a poison core. Miners employ these stones as tools for pest extermination, but have long forgotten how to craft them. Cool. Covetous demon counts as pink? I wouldn't say so. I remember him being just kind of pale. Can't think of that, no. <gasps> oh my god! Wow! 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 <gasps> Nomad ashes! Are they? Oh, frenzy! Look, 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 look! You said, wait a second, hang on, hang. Wait. 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 Why does the nomad have frenzy and the instrument? This is this is a nomad mer- <gasps> A member of a tribe that was entombed in the earth so has to, so as to bury the maddening disease that followed them. Able to emit the terrible flame of frenzy from his eyes, but has low HP and is frail, unable to take much in the way of punishment. This is a nomad! Wait, so nomads... Nomads were punished because they were frenzied? Oh my god. Like, literally, I know that I found the lore fair and square, as they say, but I literally feel like I should not have seen that. Like, I feel like I found the Eldritch Truth or something. Like, call Willem. Helms take my eyes. What the hell? So, like... Oh my god. Okay, we need to keep our eyes open. I've already felt a little bit suspicious about them. They were very suspicious. Like, some of them say some creepy stuff, you know? Like, one of them's like, I'm so hungry, and then his inventory is, like, all meat, and I'm like... What are you eating, then? He's a vegan? <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> it's pretty sus, though. Vegans are probably always hungry, though, to be fair. It's hard to get enough calories. Hi, Basil. They oh my god, he looks kind of cute, doesn't he? It kind of looked like a cute little kitty cat coming to troll me, didn't he? I want some hot chocolate. What do you mean? <laughs> Does not open the side. Brain of this is pink. Can we get pink that isn't, like, innards? Maybe? Because, like, you're not wrong. At all. But, uh, you know, I was hoping for, like, you know, pink pretty flowers. Oh. Is this another horned boy? Extra horned? Oh, it do be. Oh, lord. Ah, wah, wah, wah. Holy shit. What? Oh god. Oh god, it's dark. Oh god, it's dark. Oh, I can't see. They will save me. Get around the corner! <laughs> Fair and... balanced. By the way. An omen bairn? A ha- what? 
Bairn? As in baby? Doll of a curse born bairn. That means child. Dude, this is Bloodborne. I love this game so much. Uses FP to unleash Reyes that chase down foes. Is this Dark Souls 1? Omen babies have all their horns excised, causing most to perish. These fetishes are made to memorialize them. Please don't hate me or curse me. Please. Aww. Oh, that's actually really sad, dude. Didn't they learn anything from, from the Hunchback of Notre Dame? Sometimes people are different and that's okay. I got so much meat. My dappled cured meat. They get sent to the- Dude, why did it not like the- It didn't like the sad face. What the hell? Sent to literal horny jail? They did! That's so sad. What the hell? Oh, man. Interesting. Actually, let's say- let's, let's point something out yet again. Look at these items, okay? So this is the ancestral infant's head, and this is the omen bairn. So literally two of the things that are used to use magic and inflict damage are basically baby bodies? Like this is literally a, a baby ancestral spirit head, so it's an animal. This is a doll representing a, a, a baby. But it's like there is no new life in this game. All the new life is is cursed and thus hated and reviled and destroyed as a result. What is that? Is that an imp? Oh my lord. Oh. I really like the shortcuts here. This is really nice. Yeah. Doll of a baby or is a doll made from a baby? Well, it says that it's it's like meant to m it's it's distinctly a doll and uh these fetishes are made to memorialize them. So, it's just a fetish that mimics them. But You are an imp. Well, you failed. This is incredibly cool, by the way. Ow? Oh, I do like my curved swords. So, let's get Starlight active here. This is interesting. Imps. Imps defend catacombs, usually. So why are they here? Weird choice. Okay, a little bit rude. Ooh, a ladder. Freezing grease. Ooh. Okay, I thought there might be some lore. Not really. Too many movies with haunted dolls in them? True. True. Oh! Oh, wow. Okay, I know exactly where I am. Well, let's go from there. Oh god, my brain is starting to get overwhelmed with all the paths that I've taken and not taken. Oh man. Let's go down here, because I, I, I haven't dealt with these double flowers. There was like a double flower spot that I went to and then I turned around. Double flowers? Here they are. Triple flowers even. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna end up missing something. 
Uh, that's okay. I'll just be as thorough as I can be in this area. Rune arc. That looks like such a hidden wall. Legend of Zelda? Ah! Why was I fat rolling? Oh my god, that was so scary! I think they I think I got gooed and it caused me to be slow because I couldn't do anything. Oh, I have a heart attack and die. I love it so much. That was amazing. That was actually amazing. I love this game so much. <laughs> oh, it was so good! <laughs> oh my god, those hands! <laughs> Dude, I love how the flower petals are also meat. Remember how I said we should probably move away from like bosses or like descriptions that are like also innards? But even these pink flowers are literally just innards. That was amazing. Thank you so much for that, Miyazaki. It's right there, too. It's so obvious. If you're looking, but I wasn't. I should not have done that. I should not have done that, maybe. Everything that matters to you. For generations to come, I am the Dung Eater, a scourge upon the living. It's really hard to listen to you while there's a hand on on me trying to hand me. Come get, come on, hand, you coward! I was gonna free the dung eater, but now I'm like, oh no, what have I done? You know? Okay, come here. Come here. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm in danger. Wait. <gasps> I've seen this. Okay, so this man is, um, the loathsome dung eater. Very gooey lad. Oh, it's armor. I thought, okay, you can't tell when he's a phantom. I thought that's just his face. Uh, but no, so he's wearing armor that is covered in these gross. And now that I'm looking at them, I thought they were like weird, creepy suction cups, but they're actually horns that were cut. We have to free him. Like, it's- it's lore chat. Even though, like, I don't regret it. But, oh god. Interesting. That's really interesting. And if you look at it, you can see the- the Ormond horns growing within, so it's not that interesting. Or, er, interesting. It's not that, um... Foreign to think about. Like, with Ormond horns. So this guy is a lot like that cool character in Bloodborne, uh, the one who's a Sekiro reference. What is his name? You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly him. Yeah. Um. Hi, Dung Eater. Who are you? I've been here long enough. I will kill again and defile each corpse with care, <laughs> just to be sure. That when they're reborn, they'll be cursed, along with their children, and their children's, and their children's children, for all time to come. Where else in the other FromSoft games have we heard, and their children's children, I wonder, huh? Okay, I said leave your jail, but man's busy. Yeah, this is the most bloodborne thing. Hi. Oh, we'll kill again. And defile each corpse with care. <laughs> Just to be sure they'll be cursed. Okay. 
Uh, well, sir, you seem like a like a like a busy man. I think I'll leave you to your um, to your to your work. Uh, far be it from me to stop you from doing all of those things. Anyway, bye. I feel like I just freed Novelon, dude. I'm gonna regret this so much, and I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what happens. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. This is so intriguing. I feel like I've made a terrible mistake, but we're doing it for lore, and thus there are no mistakes, because everything leads to a path. Everything has consequences, chat. Oh, it's so easy to get to him. Like, you just, you just jumped right down forehead, right past the flowers. That's actually really nice. Oh, right. I can't get out of here now, though, from this path. Okay, okay, okay. Makes him so easy to hate. Yeah. But the thing is, he tells you to free him because he wants to defile people. Like, he, he tells you... He does what it says on the tin. You know what I mean? Like, what? how can you blame him? The man's the most honest man. Like, Lautrec is like, please free me. I won't do anything wrong. I've been put here. This sure sucks. And then he kills your fire keeper. Dong Eater's like, yo, free me? I would like to go with the file corpses and curse them forever. And if you free him, it, like, you have no one to blame but yourself. Childish name like Dung Eater? I know. It's a little bit hilarious. Uh, I love the music here, by the way. It's very... I don't know how to describe it. It just feels like something out of a fantasy game, which this is. But it's so easy to forget that this is. Actually, tell he's gonna kill you when you first meet him. Yeah, he literally is like, yeah, I'll kill you. By the way, if you free me, I can defile you. And it's like, like, what can you expect? The man says what he's gonna do to you. Like, seriously. You can't go wrong. Can't blame him. He's not even like Yurt the Silent Chief, who's like, uh, I'm gonna... You know, I'm here to help, and then he kills all your friends, one by one. Although they're not really my friends, so I don't care, actually. Why do you have different faces? Is that a human face sticking his tongue out? Yeah, you're real ugly, by the way. Yeah, those ones are extra ugly. They're different than the other ones we've seen. Way more high fantasy than Dark Souls Bloodborne, and I love it. Yeah, it's high fantasy, but done really well. Uh, not that high fantasy is, is bad or anything. Hmm. 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 It just high fantasy can be a little tropey. You know? It's one of the consequences. Hey, worth a try. This still manages to feel fresh and unique, but still keep that high fantasy core. That wowzers, bowsers, nerf bleed, please. <laughs> Don't nerf bleed until I can use it, though. Thank you. Thanks, from. Wait, I've been here. Hang on. Where have I not been? Wee. Did he just duck under my attack by being very short? Have I been here? What is this? Ooh, what's this? Nothing. Oh, I'm, in, I'm probably going to decease here on this spot. Oh, no, I have to sneeze. I'm full of problems today. Where am I? Oh, right. Cool. Thank you for the blesses. Nerf bleed the day before Raph tries it. Dude, I'm... Oh, my God, they can climb? I did not think these things counted as humanoid. Because they have terrible posture. Remember, don't do gamer posture. Where is this beetle? I like how they delay before dropping down, actually. It's like they're trolling you. It's like they're like, oh, nothing's here. Everything's safe. Don't worry about it. Raya posture? Raya at least is a snake. So, you know. She has a reason to be a little bit more, um... Crooked? Snakes got, like, real strong spines. They can all be all bendy and stuff. They're like little noodles. Aha! 
Aha! Another shortcut. Shadow bait? Remember to, remember to read that. When did I pull up Moonvale? Like, literally when? And I don't remember clicking that button. God damn, it really is strong though. <laughs> Holy shit. Stagger damage nerf, by the way. <gasps> Omen Cleaver! Plus Shadow Bait. So two spells. A uh, spell and a weapon, I mean. Shadow Bait. Incantation of the Two Finger Servants, who once served as the assassins of the Round Table Hold. Creates a pale gold shadow before the caster, luring foes of human build and attracting their aggression. This incantation can be cast while in motion. It is said that those beguiled by the shadow see within it a hated foe. Oh, cool. There it is. It is a curved greatsword. I was right! <laughs> On both ends! I just didn't know that curved greatsword was a category. I should have known. Heavy bladed curved sword of colossal size awarded to Omen as a tool of war. This weapon is made to take advantage of brute strength. The pattern etched upon the blade is the remnant of a deteriorative malediction. Indeed, when bestowing a weapon, preparations must be made for taking it away. Malediction. Ha! Huh. Because omens are cursed ones, but I guess it kind of sounds like they used them. Didn't like them, but they used them. So that's really interesting. It looks like a very cool weapon. I kind of want to take a look at it, but I'm not a great sword user. Well. Yeah, so they wanted to use them for their strength. Interesting. Very interesting, actually. I kind of have a feeling we can actually get inside these tubes or something. Because, like... Maybe that's where we were before. We were in the tubes. Tu tubes. Oh my god. Have we been here? I think so. I think the goal here is to descend. Carefully? Maybe? I don't know. This is weird. Like, I feel like I'm missing something in this area. But there's probably just alternate paths. But I feel like I've gone everywhere. <gasps> a crayfish! It has been a long time since I've seen one of those. In fact, I've never killed one, Chad. I've never killed one. Because every time I get close, I've only fought them like twice. I die twice and I give up and I've just never been back to Liernia. It's a momentous day. Oh, get staggered, nerd. <gasps> oh, no! Dude, that sniper shot comes on so much faster than you think it does. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got fing outplayed by a lobster. Oh my god! Oh my god! Still haven't killed one. Why did I have to say it? Why did I have to say it? Well, because it's hilarious, but also, goddamn, the disrespect I have just been shown. <laughs> Mom, get the camera. Nice jump attack, loser. I was joking! <laughs> Where am I? Save me. There's too many in. <laughs> okay, how how do I get out of here? Can I not? Am I just not allowed? Like what that's too high. I will die. I will decease it. Wait, wait. Am I not supposed to be here? Huh? <laughs> Like, 
this is about as low as we get, except for like that. Maybe I can jump down from here. Maybe I was just too high. Maybe we try the cat. Easy. Okay, sneak. Do not get seen by the crawfish. Oh, you're a body. Okay. Shh. Sneaky, sneaky. Today is the day we eat a crawfish. No, 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 no! I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Okay, okay. Nebula, you're my only hope. Please. You know what? You know what I have to say to you? Well. Surprise, mother... <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the moon veil, baby! Oh, what happened, crayfish? Oh, my lord above. Get him. Oh my lord, no, please, you don't understand what I've been through. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> They're so hard! <laughs> oh my god. There's, there's too many imps. Are you f***ing? Did I just lose 95,000 souls to a bunch of imps and a fucking lobster? Grah! Animals! In this game! I don't even know where I'm going right now. Bleed is broken, please nerf it, but not until I can try it, okay? Quiet voice too fucking late. I'm so mad. At least I found dung eater. <gasps> well, we're still looking for the two fingers. Oh, I took some damage. Okay, ready for this chat? We get ready for the new strats, the big brain strats. Quite possibly the small brain strats. In fact, we have nothing to lose anymore, so we grab what we can. Ow! Oh my! Oh, Jesus. These things are mean. Oh my god. Nightmare fuel. What do you want? Okay, so three hits is not staggered. It's gotta be four. It's still no stagger? Good lord. Oh, I dodged it. Okay, I wanted to stab it in the insides, but that'll do. Alright, we can do this, we can do this, we can live. Oh my god, they're actually so mean. Wait, they hit you with their stomach? What is- what are these things? They like cyberbolt you from a- from their stomach hole. That doesn't seem right. No, 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 no! Okay, yeah, we're just getting got by a bunch of lobsters at this point. One strip of white flesh. Yeah, for all that. Oh my god. I... Where do I get the Ash of War that lets me shoot a fucking sniper bolt out of my innards? I need to know. Like, fuck Moonvale. Give me the ability to become a lobster at this point. It's probably gonna be in the DLC. Mark my words right now, write this down. 
There is gonna be lobster shoot in the DLC. Here's your time. It's so fast. It's so much faster than you think it is. Even if you think it's gonna be fast. I'm telling you. Oh my god, I, I won, but at what cost? Ooh. Oh, this looks like a place where there might be three fingers. <gasps> Moog's shackle? A shackle? Oh shit, that's real good. Briefly binds Moog once imprisoned to Earth. A fetish bathed in golden magic. Shackles were used to bind the accursed people called the Omen. And these are ones made to keep particular omen under strictest confinement. Um, so wait, that means that Moog is another omen. They look like parts of a whole. A fetish bathed in golden magic, shackles were used to bind the accursed people called the omen, and these ones were made to keep particular omen under strictest confinement. Though faint, the shackles still retain vestiges of power, enough to trap the once bound Moog on Earth if only for a short time. I think it might be time to use the Moog thing. Be patient, the new dynasty is nigh. It is not time. Maybe. I don't want Vare to get mad at me for his quest. 